Okay, so in the embryonic version, I stop the cut um, as uke. So I don't want to be in a full-blown cutting posture, okay? So we, we go. I'm going to come in, boom, here. I'm in transition. So my normal cut would be here, boom. Then I would be back in Hanmi. So here, out, boom, here. I'm in the middle of what would be the cut. So I show the middle of that cut. When I do my cut, don't flex your wrist. It's the same cut. Won't show the cut. Bah, boom. On my wrist, don't flex. No cut. Wrist does not flex. Wrist does not flex. Same wrist. Up. Down the whole way. Up. Down. No. No. Oh my, so my hands will end up about shoulder height and I'll be in the position. Scoot back. Shoulder height about an inch off of his wrist and I'm in a transitional stance. Okay, let's go. Okay, so these these wrist flexions are uh, performance allowances because Vulcan are so much lighter than the sword is. So you can do this stuff. You can come up and you can go like this. Or the guy is not attacking me. So when I, when I do this yin move, he doesn't feel like, well, that's really quite an opening, okay? But there's another one when you come to cut is your hands move on the, on the weapon. They go like this. You're down here. You have a lot of space here. Remember, in this technique, weight is supposed to be on the tip. So I, I have a tsuba on this sword. So you can see that as I go back, my hands are there. I come in, boom, and my hands stay there. They're in the same position. It doesn't keep sliding. Don't have your hands come back to this grip here. Okay? The reason that's happening is there's a kind of uke-nage relationship with the sword. And you're fighting the sword, so it's pulling on what you're pulling, and you're losing the battle. And that's how your hands slide. There is a timing that you have to have between your hands and the movement of the sword. So I'm kind of just riding the sword, just like I would at uke. I'm not pulling and yanking on the sword. That'll almost always make this kind of stuff happen, okay? So we'll do it again. And keep your metsuke go. Then the beginning mistake, you're looking at the target, you're cutting high, and you come up high with your stance. Keep your stance low. And I'm not looking at the target. My med scan, the form is captured per the form at the upper thoracic cavity here. Not looking at the target. Okay? I now hit him 
in the midst of his cut. For the Uke, usually the beginner is like, oh, no, 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 no. And you just have to do your cut, okay? If your ukemi can't do that, stay embryonic. Same thing, all the alignments there. I have a front hip, I have a front shoulder, it's in alignment with my nose, and it's in alignment with his spine. And it goes through his center on the atosh. Kia, yep. you might want to sue by. Really, the, the only authentic reason for the suba is when the nage is worried about hitting you. You can get them to have more of the cutting spirit if they think that there's a suba there. But it's, it's all imagination because the suba doesn't really protect the hands. It, the ukemi protects the hands, okay? So he's going to be in Joron. And I'm going to do the cut. We're going to go slow. Pull. Slow. So slower. So he goes slow. Here comes the cut. I'm going, to, I'm going to feel that initial contact. And that's what starts to drop my center. So if I feel the contact and I am staying up, it will go into my shoulders and that will provide the resistance that he needs to cut me, or in this case, hit me, okay? Secondly, look at what he's cutting. He's cutting the right hand. So don't let go of the left hand. If you want to let go of the hand, it's the right hand. Boom, he goes, follow, boom, absorb. touches the right hand. Okay? So we'll do the technique. Now onto the complete form. So we're going to walk into Sagon. 
and that adds your, your measuring, okay? Uh, you're going to hold the sword at this kind of neutral position. So this would be threatening, but this is uh, not threatening. So here at that 45 degree angle, and you walk, and you time it, and you hit Sega. Then the guy goes forward, he goes, and you do the same exact move. Now I initiated, so I continue initiating. I'll come back. And you repeat, repeat, repeat. 